Okay, so we're going to understand how do we do unit conversions for volume, pressure, and temperature. In your book, you are given table for commonly used units for volume and pressure. So for volume, international uh, standard units are cubic meters, cubic decimeters, cubic centimeter. In uh, metric unit, you have liter, milliliter, and in English unit, you have quarts and gallon. For pressure, the SI unit is in Pascal. In metric unit, we have atmosphere, and then millimeters of mercury or mmHg, and cmHg or otherwise known as centimeters of mercury. While for English unit, we have pound per square inches. Given also in your book is the volume units and their equivalents. One milliliter is equal to one cubic centimeter. One liter is equal to one cubic decimeter. And one cubic meter is equal to 1,000 liters. For pressure units, one atmosphere is equivalent to 760 mmHg. Or one atmosphere is also equivalent to 76 cmHg or you can also use one atmosphere is equal to 760 tor or you can also use one atmosphere is equal to 101,325 Pascal and another unit conversion of one atmosphere is 14.6956 for temperature units and their equivalents, you have to remember that 0 degrees Celsius is always equivalent to 273.15 Kelvin. So let's say for example, in a problem, you are given 25 milliliters but uh, you are required to have the volume in liters. So how are you going to do it? Use the factor or conversion factor that there are 1,000 milliliters in 1 liter. So, to solve, you have 25 milliliters times... We're going to write the ml unit. Of course, you need to write it at the denominator, while liter should be in the numerator. This is so, so that this ml here in the denominator, in this factor will be cancelled by the ml found here okay so while uh, for the numerical factors you're just going to simply com uh, copy the numerical value beside the, the liter found in your conversion factor and write 1000 here beside ml so obviously you're going to 25 times 1 is 25 and divided it by 1,000. So your final value from 25 ml and that becomes 0 0.025 liter. So meaning 25 ml is also equivalent to 0 0.025 liters. Conversion is being done so that we will know the value of a certain quantity from one unit to another. So another example for uh, conversion of volume, it says if 1 ml is equal to 1 cubic centimeter, therefore 10 ml is also the same with 10 cubic centimeter. 1 liter is equal to 1 cubic Decimeter. Therefore, if you have 10 liters, then you also have 10 cubic decimeter. Okay? How about if you are given the factor, conversion factor, 1 cubic meter is equal to 1,000 liter. Therefore, 4 cubic meter is also 4,000 liters. Okay, this time, let's have conversion of pressure units. Let's say you're given the value of 0 0.95 atmosphere. You need to give the value of this 0.95 atmosphere in CMHG. 
since it says here in your book that for every one atmosphere you have 76 cmhg therefore apply that in your solution 0 0.95 atmosphere multiply it by the conversion values that one atmosphere in the denominator to cancel this unit and in the numerator you're going to have 76 cmhg and obviously your uh, mathematical operation here 0 0.95 times 76 cmhg divided by 1 72.2 cmhg okay how about if you need to convert 0 0.95 atmosphere into MMHG. Conversion factor that you need for this one. One atmosphere is equal to 760 MMHG. So, let's apply that. 0 0.95 atmosphere times... You're going to write in the numerator 760 MMHG. And at the denominator, you have one atmosphere. So this now, one atmosphere here, or the atmosphere in this denominator will be canceled by the atmosphere found in this uh, quantity. So you're just going to multiply 0.95 to 760 mmHg divided by 1. The answer is 722 mmHg. Now, if 0.95 atmosphere is equivalent to 722 mmHg, let's say, for example, you don't know this value, okay? But you're given 722 mmHg. Uh, let's show how to get 0 0.95 atmosphere, meaning your problem now becomes... What is the value of 722 mmHg in the atmosphere? So again, you're just going to use the conversion factor that one atmosphere is equal to 760 mmHg. But of course, the way you solve it this time is different because a while ago, the value was given in atmosphere. You're going to give the, its equivalent in mmHg. But this time... You have 722 mmHg and you're going to give the value in atmosphere wherein you should be able to arrive at 0 0.95 atmosphere value. So let's show the solution. 722 mmHg times copy this conversion factor but this time in the denominator you're going to write 760 mmHg while in the numerator you're going to write one atmosphere why because this one cancels that one and the unit left in your solution is atmosphere which is supposed to be the unit for your answer following the solution obviously you're just going to uh, multiply 722 by one atmosphere so it's still 722 atmosphere but divide it with 760 and if you are going to compute it in your calculator you're going to have a value of 0 0.95 atmosphere time let's have conversion okay. for temperature it is given that 0 degrees Celsius is 273.15 Kelvin. So, a 10 degrees Celsius and you need to convert it into Kelvin. What do you need to do? You just have to add this 10 degrees Celsius to 273.15 and will now become 283.15 Kelvin. This are equivalences now what if you're going to write back 283.15 kelvin into 
degrees Celsius. How are you going to do it? Just simply 283.15 15 Kelvin, subtract 273.15 to that. And the answer is 10. This 10 now is actually the equivalent value of this 283.15 Kelvin temperature in degrees Celsius. Okay, now for conversion of temperature units, particularly if you have from Celsius to Fahrenheit, this is your formula. While if your uh, temperature is expressed in Fahrenheit, but you need to convert it into Celsius, you have to follow this formula. And remember that zero degree Celsius is 32 degree Fahrenheit. Okay, so meaning if in a problem, you need to convert 14 degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit. So follow our formula. Degree Celsius times 9 over 5 plus 32, then your value will be in degree Fahrenheit. So let us substitute 14 degree Celsius times 9 over 5. This quantity will now be added to 32. And then we will have the answer in degree Fahrenheit. So 14 times 9 divided by 5 our answer is 25.2 but we still need to add 32 therefore our value will now be 57.2 degree fahrenheit let's check is 57.2 really equivalent to 14 degree celsius this time let's say the unknown will be in degree celsius let's have the Equivalent of 57.2 degree Fahrenheit in Celsius. So the formula to be applied will be the second one a while ago. This one. Degree F minus 32 times 5 over 9. So degree F minus 32 times 5 over 9. So substitute 57.2 minus 32 this quantity after subtracting will be multiplied to 5 over 9 what will be our value 14 degrees celsius you may check that in your calculator